The first day I met him was actually in the library. Yeah. I had someone call my name from behind. Mm. He's like, uh, actually in my mother tongue. Mm. So he said, hi Mary, Mutoni, Mwangi. Yeah. Basically, yeah. he called me with all my yes. three names. In, in fact, it was like, <laughs> Mwari wa Mwagi, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you see, by that time, no one had really known all my three names. Mm. People just knew me as Mary Mwangi. Yeah. People didn't know my second name. So for someone to really know mm -hmm. my second name, it's someone who had probably gone deeper yes. and dug. Uh -huh. So he stood behind me and he called my name. So I looked at mm -hmm. him and I'm thinking, no, this is another gold rush type yeah. of a man. You know, mm -hmm. there you people in campus, you're yeah. rushing towards the mm -hmm. ladies trying to wake a box yeah. and all yeah. that. So for me, I was, I was really off. Yeah, I, I was not really for relationships by then yeah. because I was just from a relationship that had really, I think, drained every part yeah. of me. And I was beginning again the journey to love myself, love yeah. the Lord more. Yeah, it, it was back in 2008. Uh, that's when um, uh, I spotted her. And it's the time that we met, though I had done some, you know, some <laughs> background check, yeah? We call it intelligence preparation <laughs> at my place of work. So um, I've done some, some uh, background uh, analysis of who this girl is, where she lives, uh, where she goes to church. Uh, you, church. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, what she likes wearing, she loved her sneakers, the sketches eh, and her jeans. So I've known a lot about her, what she, she does in, in campus and uh, which year she was. So uh, when I was approaching her, mm -hmm. it was just like you bumping into someone. Yeah, this is someone that, that I had known for some time, only that we had not known each other. But I actually didn't even know, as in, I, I, I didn't know exactly who, who this guy was mm -hmm. until on a particular Wednesday, I just felt like going for a CU, I yeah. remember. So when I walked into the, the hall, I'm looking around, then I'm seeing someone seated on the drums. I'm like, I know that guy. He's even born again. He saved. He's actually worshiping. Wow. <laughs> mm, yeah. And you know, and you know, um, I had really prayed about it uh, because I wanted someone who, uh, who I'm not just there to, you know, play around. Yeah. Uh, I was very serious, though so I had some baggage. In fact, I had a lot of baggage, yeah, a lot of lady baggage, <laughs> calling every other lady boo and the likes on Facebook, like liking their pictures like kiki, ki, you know, that kind of a thing. I had a lot of baggage. I was still a, a boy, yeah, and uh, this, the, the transformation, the transformation took some time. Uh, yeah. There was a lot of rubbing, you know, each other, uh, you know, uh, not handling each other well, mishandling mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. is the word. Yeah, so there was a lot of that, but um, of course with time, uh, we touched base, uh, yeah. uh, we were able to... We started dating. Yeah, that was like after one year of knowing each other. Yeah, so we, no, we started, started dating. dating. That was back in 2009. Yes. I don't uh, think there was anything like official, was there? Uh, we just made it official on the, you know, on just the two <laughs> of us, the like, two of us. like, no, <laughs> we, we, uh, we are no longer friends. We are we are dating. Yeah, we're just yeah, exclusive yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, so there is not the exclusivity part of it. Yeah, because yeah. the thing is, mm. it's it's good when you're dating. You date with intentionality, not mm. just mm. for the sake of passing time. Yeah, because now that's what is happening nowadays. Mm.